As we talk today about um, refining prayer, I, I want to encourage you that this is this is me handing the baton to you, okay? I'm running, giving a definition of prayer, seeking to try to stimulate your awareness, your consciousness, uh, your engagement, and I'm handing the baton off to you, and you're saying, okay, I'm going to refine prayer. Thanks for defining it. I'm going to refine it. Um, and so when we think about that beautiful little move that Paul gives us as he, as he talks about uh, the nature of prayer being connected to all these resources packaged in this thing of armor, all these armor resources are now leveraged and they flow out of this, this ubiquitous nature of prayer. Okay, that I, word ubiquitous, great. You know, if you don't know it, it's your, new, it's your new vocabulary word. It's everywhere. Things that are ubiquitous are everywhere. And that's what he says about prayer. You know, when Paul says in the, to the Thessalonians, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. That's what he's saying. Prayer should be everywhere. There should be this unbroken connection. And he, he does that same emphasis with the little word all. So he says, pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. <laughs> He's saying that prayer is this thing that's everywhere. So it's it's huge for us in our spiritual journey to, to get to this place where we are we are recognizing and cultivating this this deepening awareness and dependence on God. I said that that was our our goal of prayer. That that the goal of prayer that Scripture shows us is the goal of prayer is to maintain um, my ongoing awareness and dependence on the presence of God, so that I'm I'm literally bringing Him into every occasion. And that little word occasion is the word, Greek word kairos differentiated from the Greek word chronos, chronos, chronological. It's chronological uh, time. It's calendar time. It's scheduled time. It's tick, 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 tock, tock, tock time. K uh, kairos is ripe time. It's the season of something, the opportunity of something. And so what he says is, is that I want you to pray, pray for all Kairos, for all occasions, all opportunities, all seasons. He's saying prayer, prayer has got to be everywhere. And as he brings this, all, then, and then pray for all kinds, a massive amount of resources available for us. So today, I, I want you to recognize that today, think about just bringing Jesus into all opportunities a conversation, Lord, uh, isn't the traffic wild today? Lord, give me patience in the traffic to be gracious to other drivers. Well, that's a challenging one. Uh, Lord, as I enter my workspace and place, Lord, you're with me. Lord, flow through me with kindness to those around me that I work with. As you're going to lunch, Lord, as I interface with uh, the waiter or waitress, Lord, speak through me, Lord, help me to recognize that they're a person that matters to you. Uh, that's bringing prayer into all occasions, that I have this ongoing dialogue with this companion spirit, the spirit of God that fills me. And he wants to not just fill me, he wants to overflow out of me. Let his presence be the conduit for the conversation you have with God throughout your day today because the ubiquitous nature of prayer should empower us for the continual connection to God. Lord Jesus, let each one of us refine our connection, our intimate connection with you today. I'll see you tomorrow.